Good evening from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My name is Ryan. And I'm Bree. And on today's adventure, we're going up here to the melting pot. Yay! <laughs> Bree's really excited. I love the melting pot. So we are going to bring you upstairs into the restaurant. We're going to check out the menu, show you what's available here, order some things, put it to the test, tell you what our favorite is, and help you decide if this is a place you want to go to next time you're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Without further fondue, let the adventure begin. begin. Our date night started out in Pigeon Forge, working our way down to Gatlinburg. You can see the address of the melting pot here, as well as their typical hours. You can check out their website, which I'll put a link to in the description. We made a quick stop at the Gatlinburg Bypass. As we work our way down to the melting pot, I thought I'd give you a little look at the Smoky Mountains. And this is where we're headed down to in Gatlinburg. The GPS recommended that we take the bypass road and it was a little bit faster than if we came through the main entrance, but you can come to the melting pot either direction. I did want to cover parking. You can park right here for $10 and get your parking reimbursed if you purchase something in Calhoun's Village, which is a pretty good deal, or right by the melting pot, which is what we're passing. There is a parking garage right here. Now, this one was $20, so I did drop Bree off since it was raining. And I was able to find a free parking spot. Walked over to the melting pot, which is on the second floor, right by TGI Fridays. As you come in, they do have an elevator that you can get to the top floor, or just walk up these stairs. As I found my beautiful bride, Bree, and she was so excited, we ended up with this table right here, which had an awesome view of the Gatlinburg Space Needle. Bree also had a great view of the sky lift and the sky bridge, which was really neat to see lit up at night. Adjacent to where we're sitting are a number of booths looking out the window as well, which is great for anniversaries or Valentine's Day or whatever special occasion you want to celebrate. Or you have the main dining area that doesn't have windows, but has lots of pictures of things all around the Great Smoky Mountains. They do have a bar that perhaps you could walk up and see if seating's available, but I would definitely make reservations in advance if this is someplace you'd like to eat at next time you're in Gatlinburg. Let's take a moment and check out the menu. There's a number of cocktails. Bree and I are gonna try the Love Martini. You can see some of the other ones here. They do have a number of different beers and seltzers, as well as a number of different wines and a wine tasting and sangria. This is really fun looking. You can see the strawberry hearts in there and it's kind of a peach strawberry drink so this is really good it's sweet but not too sweet um, and just kind of a fresh strawberry peach flavor as you look at the menu you can see there's an a la carte option where you can just get cheese fondue or just a salad or just an entree fondue or even just come here for dessert we are looking at either the complete fondue experience for two for $99 or the big night out for $115, which just kind of depends on what kind of meat you're going to get. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. When you add up all the um, a la carte, it makes sense to just do the, the whole fondue experience. There's the Wisconsin cheddar right there. has some fresh pepper on top. Then we have Granny Smith apples honeyweed bread and broccoli carrots and salad. So we've got some fantastic bread and apples and veggies with some cheese. I'm excited to try this out, but let's take a moment and thank God for our food. In Jesus name we pray, amen. I know Bree is excited to be here. She loved the melting pot back in Florida. We used to go there. Has been wanting me to take her back here. Thanks, Grandma, for watching the kiddos. I have a really good fondue joke, Brie. You might find it cheesy. <laughs> and there's an okay view of the Space Needle, but in my opinion, this is the best view in the entire restaurant right here. So this is the bacon parmesan ranch salad. We got the melting pot house salad. 
with peppercorn ranch dressing. We're gonna do a little salad swap She's gonna try mine and I'm gonna try hers and we'll see which one Brie likes better. Between the two salads, I like the bacon parmesan a little bit better, but they're both good. And I really like this garlic and wine. I actually like that on both of them. It's really good. All right, this is called the Romulator. It's how we transport the hot pots without spilling anything and it also keeps your cooking style warm while it's waiting for you. But here's the Coco Vaughn. You got mushroom caps, scallions, garlic, and black pepper, and we use a burgundy wine. So we just turn the eye on, it'll warm up, and I'll have your entree out for you. Now, on the Pacific Rim, we have the shrimp, salmon, hot stickers, duck, and teriyaki sirloin. And on the Classic, we have shrimp, chicken, barbecue, pork, teriyaki sirloin, and the garlic pepper stuff. This right here is what you use in case something falls in. We call it the search and rescue spoon. So if that happens, you just go right in here and grab it out. And we have our vegetables today, which is potatoes, mushroom caps, and block broccoli right there on the side. And we have our sauces. For our sauces today, we have the teriyaki glaze, which is a sweet teriyaki sauce, a mild yogurt-based curry, ginger plum, which is a sweet and sour sauce with red and green bell peppers, Gorgonzola port is similar to a blue cheese, but it's like kind of in the same family. It's not as strong. And the green goddess is cream cheese, sour cream, onions, chives, and parsley. And that's going to be our house cheese. So it's our most popular. Three for those, two for the steaks, and a minute and a half for everything else. Okay, now if you run out of sauces and you need more, let me know. I like to use this garlic and wine seasoning on top after I've already cooked it, and I feel like it adds a really nice taste. I use it on everything. I'm excited. I'm going to start with steak. All right, and I'm gonna try the other steak too, because why not? Two minutes to medium. Let me see how they are. I think that's more like medium well, so I'll just go a little bit shorter next time, but that looks good. I can eat medium well. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna stuff this mushroom. I'm gonna let that cool, and I'm gonna try it. Oh, your shrimp, your shrimp. <laughs> I've done land, now I'm going sea. I got a shrimp and salmon. Oh, I want to try some of these sauces. They have these little cute little holes for your sauces. So fun. This is the gorgonzola sauce. That's really good. That's good too. Good thing I have that timer. <laughs> I'm going to try this mushroom because this looks amazing. Yeah, that's really good. I need to get another one of those. One really cool thing they do here is they give you color coded skewers. If you're cooking with a lot of people, you have a big party here, you will know your color and know what food is yours. I don't know how you talked me into coming to a place where I have to cook my own food. <laughs> but I just had a shrimp. Shrimp and teriyaki sauce was very good. Oh no, man overboard, man overboard. Use the scooper. <laughs> the scooper. Use the scooper. Oh no. <sighs> Got him. Got it. Got him. The good part about cooking your own food is it helps you pace yourself. <laughs> so I'm getting pretty full and I want to keep eating, but I also want to save room for chocolate. So I know I better stop. <laughs> um, I think my favorite things have been the mushrooms stuffed with the green goddess and the duck was actually really good which is not something I get to eat much super tender I really like the teriyaki steak as well that was really really tender as well um, and I really especially like that with the white gorgonzola sauce I think those are my favorite but honestly everything has been good nothing has been bad and the wonderful thing is all the stuff that we haven't eaten we're gonna go ahead and keep cooking and they're gonna bring us a to-go box so we can take it all home and enjoy it later. Brie is the timer master. She just started another timer and we're enjoying some views of downtown Gatlinburg with some Christmas lights. Alrighty, we got a pure dark chocolate coming through in the middle. I'm gonna leave that on a nice five to keep it warm. And then we also have our dippers. Starting on this side over here, we have pound cake, blondies and brownies, strawberries, waffles, and bananas, Oreo and graham coated marshmallows, and Rice Krispie treats. This looks amazing. And I don't think I've ever had waffles and chocolate before, so that'll be fun to try. As fun as some of the chocolates are, I know that I'll just be happy with pure dark chocolate. 
and my husband is so wonderful to just let me order whatever I want. <laughs> so we just got the pure dark chocolate. The chocolate is, a, is not very hot yet, like it's just kind of cold. Can you turn it up? Seven. Go seven. Seven? All right, I'm going to seven. <laughs> Hi. We decided to come over to the same side of the table. <laughs> you joined me over here. <laughs> yes. Are you enjoying this? Yes, very much. So out of everything here, mm -hmm. what, if you could only have one of these dessert items, what would you pick? Well, I haven't tried it yet, but I just know from past experience it's going to be the blondie. The blondie? Yeah. Let's go ahead and have that. We are enjoying a full course meal, but you can always just come here and get dessert. You can, or you could come and get chocolate and cheese, and honestly, that would be a full meal. It's high calorie day. Yeah, but we're going to go for a walk down the street in Gatlinburg, so. So we'll knock off like two. <laughs> well, that wraps up our look inside the melting pot in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Feel free to ask us any questions down below. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more adventures here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Mm, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? I don't know. <laughs> They're really excited to be here, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so, edit that out. <laughs> Don't get chocolate on your shirt. I'm the one who has to clean that. I'm not. I'm not. No chocolate on the shirt. You're good so far. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. No, no, it's oh, good. Dear. No, it's good. I got it. I got it. Whoa there, Turbo. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. I don't really want people to see how messy my plate is. I can't. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Oh no. So oh, it, oh, oh. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I'm not going to get it on me. 